，大家好，大家好。Do you like to see some、uh, northern performance from United Korea? Two、yes. thousand, yes, two thousand. Second, I mean, <laughs> right then. Okay, good. Then I will invite them to come、mm. uh, from Pyongyang. Okay, the dancing artist from Pyongyang. Pyongyang, you know Pyongyang. Do I have to tell you where? <laughs> Here is Korea. <laughs> okay. So,、uh, Taiwan, Korea, Taiwan, Southern China Sea, Taiwan, Korea, so Pyongyang. <laughs> <laughs> Because they, the the dancing artists. Troop, you know, Pyongyang troop. They wrote me a letter.、Yeah. They say they are very touched that I like them, <laughs> that I'm concerned about Korea. So they wanted to come to perform for me, free of charge. They even say that, free of charge. <laughs> yeah, normally very expensive to invite them. You know, they say free of charge. Oh, I never had anybody offer free of charge before. <laughs> It's me always off a free of charge, <laughs> so I was thinking maybe they should come on the Korean Peace Day, yeah? Yeah. You don't have time to come anyway, so we Taiwanese we enjoy it. Three more weeks. Three more weeks. Whoever can stay, you're welcome. Okay, huh? They'd be very happy to come, free of charge. Imagine that, very famous troupe. From Pyongyang, you know, want to offer me free of charge, the whole troop, you know, the whole group, a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, very kind people, eh? And we will see them、hmm? if you stay. If not, we only the Taiwanese enjoy everything. Oh, I was there. Today、uh, there was a joke on SMTV, no? The mother come in and say, "You have to go to school now." He say, "I don't want to go to school. Why do I have to go to school?" He say, "Because you are a teacher." <laughs> <laughs> I felt the same sometimes. Why do I have to come here? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. If don't eat, can give other people.、Hmm? If don't eat, can give to other nuns and monks who need.、Uh, many monks and nuns need, but we cannot take care of everyone. I, I cannot. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know them. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, Mao 也来了啊！那个先生毛先生也来了。大家好吗？好久不见了啊！嗯、oh, ，Okay, very good. Ah,、oh, by the way, is all the food okay? Yes. Really? Yes. Wow. Good. Not politely, tell me. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. Brown rice. Brown rice. Oh. Just brown rice? <laughs> ah, <laughs> vegan chicken? And,、uh, soy. <laughs> Stew. Salad. 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 Fruit. Fruit. Guava fruit. fruit. What else? Soup. Soup. Tofu. 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 Pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup.、Yes. If you're happy, it's good. Mm. Very happy.、Uh, salad, also if for the raw people, huh? If you you need something special, you have to order in advance, okay? Because we don't live very near the city, it takes some times to arrange, yeah, to arrange people to go, arrange to buy, arrange to come back, and arrange to prepare for you.、Mm? 
as the best is before you come, you already order, you know. Say, okay, I'm special. <laughs> Especially raw. I'm very, very raw. <laughs> I cannot be cooked. <laughs> okay, 好了, I... Oh, 今天更多人, hey? <laughs> oh, 师兄你来了, Indonesia. <laughs> 你怎么看起来一模一样呢？我看到你已经三十年以前了，是不是啊？哎呀，你看他了啊，有没有人认识？就我认识他，三十年左右了，以前呢，我我第一次看到他，是他请师傅去印尼嘛啊。And now he looks just the same. <笑> I mean, same age, just more, more pinky. <laughs> Such a healthy boy. <laughs> 还在做那个电影的生意吗? 没了, 退休了. Ah, okay. Before he owned cinema, cinema theater. Yeah, when I first saw him, some 30 years ago, look at him, my God. How old are you now, 40? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looked like 40, 50, no? But it cannot be, right? Can I ask you how old are you? 83. 83? Oh, Incredible. Incredible. Who can say she now? Sans us. No. <laughs> <笑>不是三吧 好玩什么,就是那个口味刚好 <笑> Old, old friend, yeah, long time, long time ago. This couple from Singapore and he from Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, give a good impression of their country. Lovely, lovely people. Okay, now we go to India, you like? Yeah, yeah let's take a flight <laughs> <laughs> in our heart and flight, uh, free of charge. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of that joke. I also sometimes don't feel like going out <laughs> to be a teacher. I can't believe being a teacher. You have to worry so many things. Before, when you see some master go on the stage or in the temple, they just go and sit and just talk leisurely. And you thought, oh, <laughs> nice to be a master. <laughs> yeah. And uh, many people run around him. Or her, you know, doing everything for them. Look like, yeah. How come I don't have such kind of life? You know, I do everything mostly myself. And I have to organize many things. Of course, people are doing it. But I still need to organize, give instruction, where to repair, what to do, etc. And I have to be on top of it. Like, how many people can come now? Or we have to be in Shihu. We have to organize buses, you see what I'm saying, and all that stuff, and have to organize over there too. <laughs> A lot of things. <laughs> Even it seems small, small thing, but all day just small things, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> yeah, and my dogs also sometimes change uh, assistant, and the dog got sick. And until I check it out, they're already sick. Yeah, sometimes too late, and I feel sorry for my dogs that sometimes they, 
I just have to leave them for someone else to take care, you know, and not everyone bring good energy or healthy kind of atmosphere, okay, huh? Even though you are initiated, and uh, as you know very well, the past karma, the master power, delete. But the present karma, you must carry on. Otherwise, you cannot live. You must die immediately if you have no connection with the world at all. Yes. And because you're still connected with family, friends, and all kinds of things, give and take in this world. So we have to carry on this short life for a while. Yeah, whatever we have to do, we have to do. That's why we need the five precepts. That's why the precepts come in. Otherwise, maybe your karma in this life is already destined to be bad. Yeah? Then you have to rely on the master power also, but your own willpower, the precepts to know what to do, uh, what's right, what's wrong, so that you control yourself. Yeah, then you take the destiny also in your hands to guide it with the master help into the right direction. So our life is better, mm? even though we cannot help the whole thing. But at least actions, at least action, don't do any harm. At least. Okay, now we take a flight to India. Yesterday, I was talking about uh, the fourth. Meditation method with the two kings of medicine plus the 500 other Brahman gods who are also helping with the healing process. Yes. Any healing things, any healing uh, process or power mostly came from the three worlds because it's a physical body, physical world. Yes, and they control them. Hmm? That's why you, you see that yesterday is included 500 Brahma gods in there. Probably the 500 Brahma gods were also physically present uh, because they, they probably incarnated into the world to help people, to help healing. And these two kings of medicine, they have been doing life after life. Therefore, they have such a powerful healing uh, technique or help to their patient. That's why you can see some doctors are good. Yeah, they have green hands. Some people are some doctors still graduate, same, maybe even excellence, great. But they don't have so much uh, healing uh, ability. I mean, a natural ability, yes. Uh, most doctors, they should not uh, think of themselves as God, <laughs> but the world revere them as God. Yes, the doctors should always pray before they heal. Yes, in India they are just like that. I saw some. I was invited into some doctors' houses. I told you already. Uh, at least one of them I saw is written in the office of the doctor saying, "I prescribe." I mean, the doctor prescribe, but you heal. It should be like that. And remember the story I told you about the Indian boy who wanted to, <laughs> to marry me? Yes. Just one first glance. Jeez, <laughs> that was fast. I thought the Western style of life is faster, but the Indian, they are fast. <laughs> yeah. He was very good looking, yeah, young. I was much older than him. He didn't know. <laughs> but maybe I, don't, I didn't look that old, yeah. Long hair, you know, shining hair, mm -hmm. beautiful walk alone with a white bunjab. <laughs> I think very eyes catching. <laughs> He's on the horses, I'm walking. <laughs> Most Indians, they have money, they ride on the horses. Because in the Himalaya trails, we don't have any other vehicles with the machine. Not even motorcycle. In some area, very short distance, maybe, but otherwise it's just climbing and a rocky mountain and small path. Therefore, they hide the horses. And then if the horses cannot go because some are too rough, you know, for the horse even to climb, then they hide these laborers. Yeah. 
These are rich people, they do that. But I have, uh, was no rich. <laughs> I walk all the time. <laughs> and I walk alone, yeah. So it probably was eyes catching. So he's young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then still invite me to the mother, huh? Normally mother is very jealous with any of the girl that the boy wanted to marry. Even marry, not just say, okay, <laughs> let's uh, get to know each other. No, <laughs> it's serious. <laughs> I, I was blushing. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. So I say, I'm still married. I was. <laughs> Not divorced yet. But still want to invite me to the house. And she's a doctor, no? The mother is a doctor. She's the one who invited me to the house. She said, nevertheless, come to look at us if you pass by. I said, yeah, if I pass by, I surely do. <laughs> I did visit. And she was very simple housewife. Not any air of a doctor or nothing, you know. She sat on the floor with like Indian people, cutting vegetable and throw it out. The rest of the vegetable they don't use is throw it out of the window, just like that. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. <laughs> a good one put on the, the on the one side. Also on the floor. Yeah, can wash later, doesn't matter. Floor is good. Floor is clean. I put on one side and the other one just like this. Chop, chop, chop. Put one side, throw out. <laughs> It doesn't matter because the cows in India, they run free. They, they will pass by and eat it anyway. I, in fact, I did see it. I was curious after she left to something, she so go to some other room. I peep at the window and say, oh, there's a cow eating it. <laughs> so there's no waste. It's very cute. <laughs> I didn't stay long. I didn't sleep there. Just passing by, say hello. But they give me meals. And very hospitable. Very hospitable. The Indian people, you know, even the poor people from the remote area of India, they greet you with a smile and the God's name, you know, Hari, Hari Ram Ram, yeah, <laughs> or oh, God be with you, uh, Hari Krishna, Hari Ram Ram, they always greet you with that, yes, but don't ask, don't ask them where you're going, because they always say straight ahead, yeah. <laughs> 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 and if you say something, they always uh, seem like don't agree with you because they say, okay. La. <laughs> they shake their head, but they say, good, good. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that means yes, right? In India, this means yes. <laughs> for us, this is yes. But for them, this is yes. <laughs> I was very confused. I said, well, I did say anything wrong? I didn't. <laughs> Why you always disagree with me? <laughs> and if I ask the direction, straight ahead, straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, maybe the rural people, they did not um, learn too much English, so that's the only the few words they know. All you know is straight ahead. Well, that's where you should go, actually. Yeah, where would you want to go? Straight ahead, no? <laughs> Very good people, good people. Hmm.